Well, hello my special little friends and big friends. It's a wonderful, wonderful day to celebrate Jesus. And today's story is, is entitled Going Home. But the lead up to the story, that I remember this is now after Easter, where Jesus was crucified on the cross. He was buried in a tomb. And three days later, he rose from the dead. So Jesus is alive. And that is what we celebrate today. So Jesus was alive, but he hadn't shown himself to his friends yet. They had, his disciples hadn't seen him. Only Mary had seen him. And Jesus had spoken to Mary to go and tell his friends that he was coming to see them soon. So we're going to start off with our story on page 318. That's 318. And the title is Going Home. So Jesus' friends were afraid. So they were hiding in an upstairs room with the door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He walked right through the wall. Oh, it's a ghost! Thomas screamed and he hid under the table. But it wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. Hey guys, what's for lunch? Peter gave him a fish. And they all hung back and watched him eat it. Oh, this can't be, they were telling themselves. It's impossible. This is not happening. But it was right in front of them. Can you imagine that for a moment? You are sitting in a room, petrified, wondering what is going to happen to us next. And next minute, Jesus walked straight through the wall. Didn't even come through the door. He came through the wall. Hmm. So after Jesus ate his fish, he went, mmm, delicious. Jesus wiped his mouth with the back of his hand and he grinned. Can a ghost do that? He winked. And they all laughed. Jesus had a wonderful sense of humor. I'm really here, Jesus said. And he really was. Peter's heart leapt with joy and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. And the others followed. They felt their hearts were going to burst from all their happiness. The friends ate together and they chatted happily. I wonder what kind of questions they must have asked Jesus. Can you imagine? I've got my heart, even now, just thinking about it. There must have been so many questions they wanted to speak to Jesus about. And every now and again, they would just sit and they would just gaze at him and have to touch him to be sure that they weren't dreaming. I'm sure they were probably pinching themselves like, is this real? Is this real? Jesus had a real body, but his body was better. It had come through death and it couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had come back with a brand new body. Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I'm the savior and the rescuer of the world. And they knew because he couldn't stay dead because Jesus had come alive again. Say that with me. Jesus had come alive again and that somehow everything was going to be all right. A few days later, as they walked together, Jesus told his friends, it's time for me to go home to my father. And they were so worried. And then they remembered what Jesus had told them before he died. There's a place for you and I will get it ready. Jesus said, you know the way. Thomas had panicked. I don't know the way to get there. Like, how am I supposed to get there? Jesus, yes, you do, Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. When at last they reached the top of the highest hill near Jerusalem, Jesus turned to them and said, Go everywhere and tell everyone the happy news. The happy news is, is that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Tell them that I love them so much and that I died for them. It's the truth that overcomes this terrible lie. God loves his children. Yes, he truly does. God loves you. He loves you so, so, so very much. And Jesus wants you to tell all your friends 
about the love that God has for them. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with a dazzling light. Now everyone can come home to God, Jesus said. Death is not the end of you. You can live forever with your Father in heaven because I have rescued the whole world. And something amazing happened. Jesus rose up into the bright air higher and higher. They shaded their eyes and watched him go until a cloud hid Jesus so they couldn't see him anymore. They stood looking up into the sky like that for a long time. It's like looking up. Where did he go? Suddenly, two shining men appeared. What are you doing? They asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven, but one day he will come back in the same way that you saw him leave. From heaven and from the sky, Jesus' friends went back to Jerusalem with a strange gladness inside their hearts and something Jesus had said stuck in their mind. Even though you won't be able to see me anymore, I will never leave you. No, not ever. I will be with you, yes, always and, for, or, and forever. How can Jesus be with us and leave us at the same time, they wondered. They didn't understand. No, but they soon would. And friends, that is something that we can always carry in our hearts. Even though our eyes do not see him, it's not like Jesus is walking through the wall and coming into this room but He is always in our hearts and He hears us when we pray. And when we say, Lord Jesus, we just thank You that You are always with us, that You promised us that You would never leave us, that You would never ever forsake us, that You are always with me, Holy Spirit. And Father, I just thank You for every little person that's listening to the story right now. And Lord, I just ask that they would just know Your love and feel your hugs. Father, I just thank you that you love us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week. And remember, God loves you and he loves your friends. And he just, mwah, big, big hugs for you today. Bye.